as a first step, I will show you how you can work with the CAD data, with the DWG file or perhaps a DXF file. Uh, these are usually 2D data, but as we will uh, cover that a little bit later, this is not necessarily only uh, the information that you can uh, get from a DXF or DWG file. But let's say, okay, now I'm at the stage where, uh, where I just start with a new project. And then I say, okay, this new project is this one, an empty page, and I would like to import a DWG file. Importing files, you will find all these options under the file menu and it's import. Um, there are dedicated commands for specific file yes. uh, formats uh, or sometimes libraries where you can directly connect. And this is the DWG here. Uh, note that uh, they're, uh, they're a little bit more than uh, what you can find here. And if you would like to see all the possible uh, imports that uh, ArchLinux XP offers with the current version, you should always go with the import uh, option, which brings up this dialog with the filter. Either way, you can just uh, open up and filter for the D DWG files and say, okay, I'm about to work with this lens uh, floor plan. For example, it's a DWG file, which when I click on open, the software brings up a dialog like this. Now, when you, when you open, when you import something <coughs> like that, what are the things that you have to look for? Well, first things first, uh, the size of those things are very important. Uh, and uh, in case of uh, specific file formats, like for example the DWG file, a DWG file is a very old, old, uh, long, uh, long existing uh, file format. This means it could have older versions and newer versions. If uh, it was created with uh, new software, uh, which is uh, perhaps uh, uh, um, I don't know one or two years uh, newer than than your current version, uh, that could be a compatibility issue. But usually, if someone is using an, a newer version than what you have, they have the option to save an older version. But other than that, usually you will just see a, a dialog like this and, well, what to do with this? I, I usually, when I see something like this, I just say, well, I don't know, just go. And uh, in that case, the software will import the, the, the file. Yes. And this is the point where, where you should test what you have been given uh, to work with. Is it okay or not? Because what we see as a visual uh, result is, is, is okay, but perhaps it's too small or it's too large. We cannot tell that because these are just numbers here. But if we use this uh, tool here, which is the, uh, the distance tool, this allows you to measure distances. And actually, this, this is something that I pinned here. It can be found in the uh, dimension and it's called measure distance. You can, you can pin so it. So you have to do the... a checking measurement to see if what, yeah. you, what you imported so, makes sense. Yeah, that, that's the point. You just, you just measure measure the distance and if you're happy with that, this is correct now, so I yes. don't have to do anything with that. But if it's if it's not correct, then you can scale it. I, I will show you in another example soon. But uh, sometimes this just happens. You just go, okay, import it and you will end up with something that just works. If it's not, then uh, we will show you the result that, uh, about that. So how do you proceed to turn this into something that you can use in your model? Um, well, first things first, Archline offers uh, things uh, under the building node, uh, offering tools to uh, quick, quickly turn 2D lines into walls and doors and windows and even uh, slabs and things like that uh, based on a DWG drawing. And that's uh, the, one, the first important command for that is the walls on DWG drawing. It's a very simple tool. It allows you to select uh, one corner point of a, of a wall uh, symbol, another corner point. See, now it recognized the yes. uh, length of that line. And then I need to click on the parallel line, which uh, sets up the, the, the width of the wall. So then it quickly turns into a 3D wall. So from that point on, ArchLine literally works with walls. Uh, now only one, but if I just use this same tool to quickly See, so you pick the, pick the wall's the, length, and then you the define content. the. And even the if you list. cannot find the proper wall length, don't don't worry. It's just something that you can fix uh, later. You just quickly go through and quickly find as much important uh, as much uh, information as you can, and then later you fix the connections. The, the uh, remember what we discussed last week about yeah. walls and wall types. You can yeah. connect them with T and L uh, connections and inter intersections. Yeah. These are here, the T and L connections, so you can just simply say, okay, I would like to connect, just, just as a quick reminder, you can just connect these, these walls and then you will end up with something finished. What happens if you have multiple floors? <coughs> I mean, let's let's imagine that there's a multi-story building yeah. and you have one 
DWG or DXF for each floor. Yeah. Then how do you, com you know, well, integrate that likely. into one? That's very likely. In that case, uh, just as Ar ArchLine automatically offers several floors, as w which you can find here, uh, you can just uh, click, click, quickly create a one floor above, one floor below, and you can just build up a new structure. In that case, you can just jump from one floor to another with this one. You just jump to level one and just repeat this, this uh, whole procedure using, I just quickly do that again, I just go to file, import uh, DWG and imagine uh, that this here, let me just, sorry, I used this here before, this one. I only do that because now this path uh, was uh, recognized. So I just uh, go with this one again, uh, imagining that this is a second floor uh, survey or a drawing and then say, okay. And then now let's just talk about this because this, uh, this is the point where you could scale the content if you realize that the content was 10 times smaller or 10 times larger than what's expected uh, because you imported it already and measured the distance and uh, the measurement was not correct then you can undo and redo it again by just simply setting a different scale up, uh, scale mm -hmm. here even you can work with uh, units uh, that imperial metrics or imperial or something like that yes. so this is how you can when you say okay just enlarge it 10 times uh, and okay, then you will end up with a 10 times larger uh, imported content.